Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, hello, my name is Erica. I'm a homeschooling, homemaking mama of five. So we're going to start, I guess I was about to lose my breath there for a second. Sorry about that. In my bedroom. And then move around about the rest of the house. This was Thursday of last week. Um, Thursday and Friday, actually, because Thursday afternoon, I went to the grocery store while my daughter was at her uh, literature class that she takes. So that's what I did. And y'all, I went out of my comfort zone. So we call it the bougie Kroger. It's, um, it's just a really nice Kroger. But I did not realize, like, the one that I go to, um, it's lacking, to be polite. The people there are great, but, you know, the we're always out of stuff, always. And this Kroger, I mean, it was crazy all the stuff they had. So anyway, I went there, but we call it because it's got a Starbucks in it and everything else. And it's, it's really, it's just really nice. Um, on to what I'm doing right here. If you guys are new to my channel, I am um, really, really bad with areas next to my bed. I had started out with a really nice, nice nightstand and I had to move it because I kept cluttering it. Then I had a chair over there at one point and I cluttered it. Then I had a little um, antique stool that actually used to be like a camel, um, what you, a camel saddle, but I cluttered it. So now I didn't have anything there for a while and I still managed to clutter the floor, but that is my dog Lulu's cage and I have it there. She does not, like I don't close the door unless we actually have to go somewhere because then she gets real bad separation anxiety and she does great in the cage, but um, if we're gone. But anyway, I keep that there so she's got a place to go. She is 100% um, blind, so it's just, I like to have it right there beside me. She normally gets up on the bed and sleeps with me, so. Um, this is our, I guess, our master bathroom. If you guys are wondering what the holes are on the floor, well, they're not holes, but places where you can tell there was flooring underneath it. The original owners had put these huge cabinets in here, and I guess where they put the cabinets on the floor, they just put tile around it. Well, the cabinets were extremely awkward and you couldn't fit anything in it. So my husband and I just took them out and actually donated them. So anyway, I got my laundry going in here, as y'all can see. I know there's, you know, a big controversy with fabric softeners and all the smelly stuff. And I do know the reasons behind it. But y'all, I, I love my stuff, my, my smelly stuff. Um, it's just, that's not something I think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to change, at least for not, not for right now. So you can tell with the clothes change that at some point I did go um, and then I came back. So, uh, you know, of course I came back. So a couple shots back in the shower, if you guys were wondering what was on the floor of my shower, something had happened, something had spilled in my son's Legos when I wasn't home and they just thought the best place to put it was on the shower floor in my bathroom and I got those up and I got that towel that was in there. I don't know why it was in there. Um, I actually just threw it in the trash, but um, I cleaned it off off camera because I was in the shower when I did that, and obviously I'm not going to put that on there. So I tidied up the top of my um, dryer, and you know, I got to say, I, I do get really hard on myself a lot, or down on myself, and I was watching a few old videos um, from about a year ago when I first started my channel. Actually, I've been going now about a year and a half, but anyway, when I first started, and I'm really proud of myself. Like this laundry room is by no means clean, but from where I started, it is like 75% better. Like I am so proud of myself in the progress that I have made. And I, again, you know, those of you that have been here since the beginning know that this is not at all what I intended for my channel. I did not realize that I was struggling as much as, you know, I was and I still am, but I think sometimes that's the hardest thing for us to admit is that we're just not doing as well as we want to. Not that I was doing that terrible, but I definitely was not at the point that I All thought right, I was. All right, y'all, here is my weekly food haul. I went to Kroger. My goal was to spend less than 100. Um, now, I did some research before I went and I'm going to get several things at Sam's, so I didn't um, I didn't go way under budget like it seems. So I ended up spending $60.57 and I saved $15.29 with coupons. Hi. The chicken was $1.99 a pound, so I got two of them. Hi. It was, let's see, I don't know how much the chicken ended up being, but I saved, anyway, it was $1.99 a pound, so I got two of them. The Honey Crunch peanut butter, y'all know I like that. It was $1.69, plus I got $0.16 cents off. 
These cherries were on sale. Jeremy loves these. Hi. They were $4.10. I saved like, Is I think they were- too bad? No, that's not too bad at all. $2.99, they were $2.99 a pound. I got cream of chicken condensed soup and that large one, cause I'm gonna make, oh, and I got the, hold on Joe Thomas. Um, and then cream of mushroom, cause I'm gonna make uh, chicken and dumplings. This was on sale for two dollars and ninety-seven cents, I think. The blueberries were I on sale too. For two fifty, Joe wanted some of those. Yes. Some ranch I want dip. Too. Um, for hold on, Joe. These are for the cracked chicken that I'll make later on this week. Um, my yogurts. I got my white chocolate raspberry carb mastered. They were two for a dollar, and then I got ten cents off sour cream for the. Potatoes, the potatoes were $2.99, half and half. Buttermilk biscuits, four pack. And then two of these things for um, just, you know, because pasta is one of those things. One for cracked chicken and one just to have an extra. Oh, and then I got these honey crisp apples. They fell out of the car and landed, so they're gonna be bruised, but they'll be all right. They were on sale for $1.77 a pound. So I was pretty happy with that. So that's what about $60 at Kroger looks like. I already showed them the honey. All right, and I know, I think next will be my Sam's Club haul. Okay, this is my Sam's haul. I spent $61. I did a little bit of math before I went to the grocery store and I found that it was a much better deal for these. So these were the thin pizzas. I think we like these. These were $11. The pizza rolls were on sale for $9.98. I didn't mean to buy these, but this was a better deal. These were, I think, $11. Um, their salad mix, their salad mix is usually a better deal. However, it does not last long at all. It goes bad quicker than I've noticed Kroger's does, but my daughter's on a big salad kick right now anyway, so it won't go to waste. That was two. The chicken nuggets, I don't remember how much they were, but they were cheaper than Kroger. And then cheese sticks, because it's the only brand my son really likes, and honestly, it's the only one I like too, and I don't remember how much it was, but it all came to $61. Actually, no, this was 51 and Kroger was 60. I don't know, y'all get it, but that's Sam's. So we're in my living room and it's just a general tidy up. This room does not get as messy. Well, for me, it's not as messy as far as like clutter and stuff goes. It always seems like it's fairly easy to pick up. Now, I don't deep clean my couches and stuff and my windows like I should. Um, so as far as that goes, no, that doesn't get done as often. But I think maybe because this room is like the most used. And I honestly, um, I will give myself credit. I can't sit and watch TV or do anything like that in a messy room. Um, I will usually, unless I'm feeling terrible, um, I will get up and make sure it's clean before I do anything. I, you know, and I gotta say, to be honest with y'all, not that I fib, that's always an expression I never understood, to be honest, like you were on fib before. I don't like filming my living room. I always feel like it's never like good quality. I don't know why, but um, yeah. I like filming the vacuuming and the sweeping and the mopping on the floor, because that's my favorite thing to watch. I don't necessarily like filming it only because it takes me forever to get motivated to mop. But then once I start mopping, I love it. Like I love seeing the, the water on the floor, but to actually get started, like I had put off mopping my floor all day. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just rinsing dishes that for whatever reason, I decided not to show you guys in this shot. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I wash all of like our Yeti cups and then my son's got that little Lego cup. And then I have a lot of pottery cups. What is the word that I'm looking for? Um, that you call them when you've got, I guess, ceramic cups um, that I drink out of that I need washed by hand. And the funny thing is, they all came from Salvation Army. I think maybe two of them came from TJ Maxx that I got on the discount thing. Um, but yeah, I love, love, love my goofy coffee cups. My daughter was picking on me the other day. Well, she wasn't picking on me. She was actually being very polite because my daughter doesn't, she actually doesn't make fun of anybody, which is super, super sweet of her. Um, but she was talking about how collecting coffee, coffee cups specifically is a very common trait in people with ADHD, which I do have if you are new here. Um, I am medicated. It is a non-stimulant, which I don't ever mind sharing that stuff. It's called Stratera. Um, that was, they gave me that option and Ritalin and, um, I, Ritalin wasn't something that I felt would work for me 
So, uh, or I mean, that I wanted to wanted to try. So I was great with Stratera, and it has been life changing for me. Um, I'm not saying that medication is for everyone or anything like that. It's just my my personal experience. So, y'all, I am not going to show you guys cleaning my cast iron skillets because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing when I do it and I might get my feelings hurt if somebody makes fun of me so yeah um, I'm just cleaning off my counter that is not my no that is my counter and my oven um, and I realized after watching this that I didn't put water I just sprayed straight up cleaner on there and then put dawn on it and didn't even bother to get my rag wet so I don't know what I was thinking So, confession time, not that this is anything like deep or, or you know, gossipy like. It was just like, just a couple years ago that I realized that the stove and the oven are two separate things. Like the oven is the part that you bake in and the stove top is the, you know, the part that you cook on. And I'm not sure why it never, that was one of those things that never clicked. And this is another funny thing that I got to tell myself, POV, I did not know that that stood for point of view I, I my husband was just looking at me the other day like oh my gosh like I know he didn't say it but I know he was thinking does this woman really have a college degree no but um I do I do for the record but yeah I thought for whatever reason POV stood for public service announcement and I realized that that is PSA like and I know when I see the you know PSA that that's public service announcement but I guess my brain just flips it around and every time I see POV I think oh you know public service announcement no nope. no nope. point of view point of view and it's so obvious that I should have realized that so that the stovetop thing just just made me think about it because I love those stovetops that you see that are just like in the middle of an island like I like that look or like the sinks that are on the island like I would love to have either one of those in the middle but I guess when you put something like that on the island, you're kind of committing to that for however long, you know, it's a lot of work. But anyway, so that was another, another funny, funny story about me. Um, uh, this is a, something I normally do. I did this backwards. I usually clean like my countertops um, or my island first and then do my laundry last. No, not my laundry, y'all. My dishes. My dishes last. So I think I talked about this in the last video but you know um just something i've been thinking a lot about there's just been a lot of well i've been thinking about a lot of things because my mind never stops uh y'all i broke my cup my cup my husband bought me it says some like it's scott it's got a picture of jamie frazier from the outlander y'all know what that is it's a tv show i'm obsessed with anyway so i've been thinking a lot and i was trying to glue it back together and i am going back and forth about I made a joke in my last video about the definition of insanity being doing the same thing over and over again and maybe housework is insane and I was just being silly but it was something that I kept going back to and I wonder because you know it seems to be a common thing that uh, a lot of homemakers really struggle with their mental health and I'm not saying that you know you have to be a homemaker to struggle with mental health or that all homemakers struggle with me mental health um, I'm really more referring to myself and just things that I've seen and, and, and friends that I have but that seems to be something that's very common and I wonder if if maybe doing those things over and over again every day is part of it you know it is because it can be kind of um, frustrating you know like we joke about laundry being that forever friend or dishes being that forever friend but you are it's like you're doing the same things over and over again each day which they have to be done and there's nothing wrong with it and I'm not saying that doing housework is crazy but I just I can't help but think that that has to contribute with you know those tedious tasks being constantly done over and over again and there never ever being an end to it if that's maybe something that contributes which I'm sure it is or if there's been already been a study you know I'm sure somebody has studied this somewhere and I might just be um, repeating an article not not on purpose but y'all know what I mean so anyways just something I was thinking about I'm um, picking up my mess here because you know I'm a clutter bug um, I do have to say I had put my foot in my mouth because last week I was bragging about how clean my house was and how well I was doing with the upkeep while I was at work and then this week um nope it just kind of it was a disaster by the time wednesday rolled around my husband 
he is fantastic to help with the dishes. He is fantastic to help with whatever I ask him to. But now, especially since I've started YouTube, all of my family is usually like, oh wait, are you gonna clean this for YouTube? Are you gonna... We don't make any messes on purpose, but I will be honest, I do sometimes wait and leave them just so I can clean it all at once for you guys to film and stuff because it makes it so much more fun because a lot of times I just do this because I enjoy it um but anyway it got to the point that he was like honey we got to do the dishes he's like the dishes have got to be done like the dishwasher was completely full of clean dishes and then there were, the whole sink was so he loaded up the dishes and did all that and I was like oh okay because and honestly the only reason I hadn't filmed it is because I was just exhausted Wednesday night or Wednesday morning when I got home from work, I wasn't able to go back to sleep. Um, and I just finally, I think about six o'clock that after that evening, like I crashed, but the whole day I was just kind of like eh, a little bit lethargic. Um, this is my bathroom sink. This is something I was talking about. That is a mouse trap. Um, we don't really have mice anymore now, but I, it's just something we kind of like to keep in here. I know some people might think that's inhumane and I am sorry if that is offensive. Um, we just, I, we have uh, our old house we had a real bad problem with rats um our neighbor didn't really keep up with their yard. well i'm trying to politely say anyway because of some other choices of, of people that were out of our control rats would come into our house and you know we'd have to get them out and if you guys have ever had to deal with those they are flipping scary as can be and they can be dangerous and stuff so when we first moved in here um cleanliness was not a priority to the previous owners to each his own so there we did have a little bit of a problem with mice um, and recently we haven't had any in the last year and a half so but I do like to keep those underneath the sink just in case and that's why all those towels were kind of stuffed into the pipes too because at one point that's where they would come in so this really needed organized and the second drawer and the third drawer needed organized but we're only doing one because honestly I didn't feel like it and if y'all saw those lighters, that right there is a direct um, symptom of ADHD. I get fixated. I don't do it so much anymore now, but I will get fixated on something and I will have to like almost hoard it. This is something I do because of that. And those lighters, um, when I have my fake nails, that's the only way I could light my candles was those like short, the short fireplace lighters. Well, for whatever reason, I couldn't find any in the store, so I ordered a whole bunch of them off of offline. And now I have a hoard of short uh, fireplace lighters. So yeah. So to address the toothpaste, though, that is something that I don't consider a hoard because there are six of us in the house. Actually, there's five of us now. But toothpaste, uh, we go through a lot of toothpaste, and that's something that when you run out of, you really don't have a substitute for. So that is something I don't mind to keep a lot of. Uh, so razors are another thing, too. You can't really substitute those. But um, so that's in my mind. Um, there are some things I'm, I'm getting much better with knowing what I'm hoarding and what I'm actually, you know, it's okay to stock up on. Towels, as you guys saw down there, was something I realized I'm hoarding, and I'm not really sure what the deal was with that, but I donated half the towels that were underneath my sink. They were really nice towels that have been given to me as a gift last year, but I actually don't like to use um, towels with any color in them because I like to bleach my towels, so I don't use those near as much. Um, and then I actually was gifted another set of towels this year, um, but they were they were all white, so I could bleach them. So I realized I'm not going to use, you know, my husband and I actually do pretty well with washing laundry, just washing, not folding it, not putting it away, but washing it. So it's not like we need 10 towels for the two of us. My kids have their own towels and they wash their own laundry, so I don't have to worry about it either. I have a set of guest towels for when I have company, which really isn't that often, but I do like to have an extra set. Um, so I made the decision to get rid of those. So I filled half of my garbage bag that I had planned to get rid of this weekend with stuff in it. So um, a lot of this mess on the top of it was from the drawers. I didn't put too much effort into the top of this just because, uh, like I said, I'm really trying to work on decluttering in my bathroom over the next couple weeks. And one of the things that I have done in the past um, that would cause me to go back, um, to backtrack, is I don't like to have a mess. I know that seems kind of weird, but 
I don't care how it gets clean. I don't care if stuff gets shoved in a drawer. I don't care if it gets shoved under a bed. As long as I can't see it, I'm good. So when I would start decluttering an area, instead of actually finishing everything, I would shove it in a bag, shove it in a drawer, just push it away. So now I'm just kind of starting to leave my mess and I'm not leaving it to leave a mess. I mean, to like be lazy, I'm doing it. So I have that visual reminder, hey, you need to finish this. And while I don't always get to it immediately, I get to it much quicker than if I stuck it behind a door that I didn't have to deal with it directly. Which that just dawned on me that that might be why I have such a problem with my closet because I can close it and walk away. So we'll address that later. So this is another day and oh no, I did change my clothes. Oh, look at me being a big girl changing my clothes. Um, my dog does not. That's my dog Trixie. She was born with three legs. She is an American micro bully in case you guys were uh, wondering. Um, we've, she's a little over a year now. Um, my best friend, he rescued her. The uh, owners, I guess, were going to take her to the pound because um, they, they couldn't, I don't know if they couldn't sell her or whatnot. So he took her, but he already has two really large dogs and he's, you know, got his hands full. So I was like, okay, we'll take her. She is the sweetest dog ever, but I, I get, I get not picked on, but we always joke that we have like the house for misfit animals because Trixie's got three legs. Lulu literally doesn't have any eyes. Um, Harry, that dog, has like nine lives, bless his heart, but he was a rescue as well. He's missing half of his tail. Um, I, I could I could write a book with the things that have happened to that poor dog. Our cat actually, our cat was a rescue as well too. So, but I love my animals. I do absolutely love my fur babies. So, as you can tell, I'm in here mopping. Um, Joe wanted to mop, so I only mopped half of my dining room. That's why I stopped, and you, if you guys are wondering. So he went and got the kitchen and the, and the rest of the dining room. Um, the pine stall, I'm still okay with as far as the smell goes. I just It cleans so, so, so very well. And for all of y'all, I miss that little spot right there. If you can see it, that triangle. I keep, and it's driving me nuts. I, I keep thinking that I'm going to go back and get it, and I don't. So... I apologize for that. And there's my little Jojo helper. He has turned into just quite the silly little young man. He started basketball. Um, I'm doing this voiceover on Saturday. He had his first game today. And he loved it. He was so cute. And it's funny. They only had one practice. And we were really wondering, because my husband's coaching it, like it was almost like trying to herd cats. But uh, they all did fantastic today and had a blast. And Joe usually gets distracted when he plays sports and doesn't really want to participate, but he got into it and was cheering on his other teammates, and it was just an absolute ball. So, you guys, I am folding clothes, as you can tell. Um, like I said before, I had been doing well with folding my clothes, um, not as soon as they came out of the dryer, but like about two loads at a time. There for a while, it was like five or six loads at a time. It was like knee high on my floor in the laundry room. And I want to say that this was an exception because I thought it was an exception. And I was so proud of myself for only having two loads of laundry to fold. Um, I was a little disappointed because, you know, normally this is like a really long part at the end of my video. Well, so I get all this done, I put it up, and I walk into my laundry room. And my memory, y'all, lately has been terrible. And when I say terrible, I mean, I had done apparently two other loads of laundry the day before, completely forgot about them. And there they were sitting on the floor in my laundry room waiting for me. And I realized it like halfway through folding these clothes. And I was like, I don't normally have this many missing socks. Like I gotta say, that's, I know I've said it before, but I can tell when I'm doing better by the amount of socks, like missing socks I have at the end of my load. And that's what I was like, crap. But as y'all can tell with the light change and everything else, yeah, here, 
and the clothes change that I discovered the missing load but it you know it was a total I think of maybe four loads of laundry so it got folded again I'm great for washing them but terrible for picking them up off the laundry floor because you know that's where you throw your clean clothes it's on your I'm sure mediocre clean laundry room floor it's probably not even mediocre at this point because I'm gonna be honest I don't know the last time I cleaned my laundry room floor and I probably need to put that on my list of things to do so Y'all, if you don't see that in next week's video, call me out on it. Say, Erica, you were supposed to be cleaning your laundry room floor. So anyway, I, yeah, again, I got to thank y'all for, y'all motivate me to clean parts of my house. Because to be honest, if it weren't for YouTube, there are a lot of areas that I wouldn't think to clean or I wouldn't clean because I just didn't want to. So thank you guys for giving me motivation by allowing me to give you motivation. I realized y'all could see Lulu in her cage. That door wasn't shut. That's, that's what I said. That's why I like to have that right there. So she's always kind of close to me. And she's got a safe place that she can go to. So the gate, like again, the gate doesn't. I don't close it. I don't, I don't put her in there unless we have to leave the house. But most of the time, there's always somebody at the house. It's very rare she goes in there. Um, she's a very sweet dog. She does. You, would, you wouldn't know she was blind. If, well, I mean, she weren't missing her eyeballs. But she does really well like she can maneuver around the house she's adjusted real you know she didn't take her any long you know any a very long time at all which y'all know she lost her first eyeball a long um probably about four years ago so um i don't think losing the second one was i mean of course that's traumatic i'm not underplaying it at all i can't even imagine especially being a dog and you don't really know what's going on but maybe that works in her favor because she's just such a such a sweet dog but she just gets around the house like it's nobody's business so but i still like to have you know a safe space for her to go well if you guys have been here a while you do know that this is the end of the video despite having two different sections for folding all the laundry that i forgot but um thank you all again it means the absolute world to me um i love you all and i hope wherever y'all are at you are having a blessed one and i'll see you in the next one bye